Hey everyone, I'm Marlo. Thank you for joining us for another one of our Sunday lessons. We're going to head into some worship in a second, but first let's pray. Dear Jesus, I pray that you would bless everyone watching this video and bless this lesson and help us during these hard, tough times. In Jesus' name, amen. Now it's time for some worship, so let's worship together.
So I heard we've been talking about the armor of God, and I want to see what you guys remember. I want that God, God gives us spiritual armor to protect us. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians 6, 10, 18, we need to wear the armor of God to do spiritual battle against evil. We have learned from our kids' church that there are six armor of God. Belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness. The feet, feeted with the readiness to spread the good news that gives peace. Shield of faith, helmet of salvation. Sword of the Spirit. First armor. The belt of truth help us to be honest all the time. With this armor, it will always remind us to tell the truth. Sometimes I try to hide the truth about what I did with my brothers. But because of this lesson, I learned that I should always wear the belt of truth so that I will always be honest in every way. God bless everybody! Bye! Silly Millie has a special message for you today, so let's go check it out. Hey guys! Today we're talking about the breastplate of righteousness! Can you guys guess what it means? Well, the breastplate is super important because it basically protects all the vital organs in your body, like your heart and your lungs. When I say the breastplate of righteousness, it means your righteousness can protect you just like this armor. Righteousness is doing what is right. When you do what is right, you're protecting yourself against evil and trying your best to avoid sin. Our sin can hurt us, others around us, and our relationship with God. Now let's check out this video. God's story, the armor of God. We also get a breastplate of righteousness. Being righteous means always making right choices. Of course, nobody has done that except Jesus. But see, Jesus took the punishment for our bad choices. So when we choose to accept his rescue, God sees our sins as gone, which means to him, we are righteous. Satan means the accuser, and he loves to make us feel guilty. But we can defend ourselves by remembering how God sees us. We must do what is right! And God knows that if we follow the rules and do what is right, our righteousness will be like armor and protect us. Now, it's time for some questions. to these questions, you know what to do. Send them to Bridget at rsvc.ca. So my challenge for you guys is to put on the breastplate of righteousness, to follow the rules, to do whatever God has called you to do, and always know that Jesus is the best example for you to follow. But let's pray together before we leave. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for all that you do in our lives. We thank you for our church, family, and friends. We pray for your presence as we learn about you. Let Jesus be the center of our knowledge. Today, we pray that you will protect all of the children in our church and that you will stop the virus so that all of us can come together to celebrate Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this week. We had a lot of fun. Bye, everyone! Thank you guys for joining us this Sunday, and don't forget to subscribe to our kids' YouTube channel, RHPC Kids. See you guys next week.